Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. This is Spirit Journey, and right now it is 2.41 p.m. Saturday, March 16, 2019. I've been feeling moved to do this video. I, I want to do a tarot card reading. And again, I have to say up front that uh, I don't do tarot cards uh, for a living. I'm not an expert or pro at it. But I have uploaded videos of my doing uh, tarot card readings on various public figures. And I thought the, the outcome of the reading was very, um, very interesting. And again, I give you the freedom and leisure to go on my YouTube channel and you could investigate yourself. I did a tarot card reading on uh, Trump and Hillary Clinton. I thought the results were very interesting. Well, in the public eye news these days, the two things, two stories that I'd like to investigate. One is the most recent incident that happened about a day ago in New Zealand and uh, an alleged uh, terrorist attack. And again, my, my condolences on any, anyone who's injured or, or who died. But I wanted, something's not sitting right with me regarding the videos I've seen on the, t on the subject. And the other one is about Michael Jackson and that movie about leaving Never Neverland and the two alleged victims, they especially don't sit right. Something doesn't sit right. And I've already discussed that. But I want to do the readings on them. Um, let's see, which one do I, want, do I want to do first? Let me do the thing on Michael Jackson, because I, I have right, right in front of me, I have a monitor on. I was watching a videos on documentary slash movie uh, on uh, Michael Jackson, that Neverland movie. And so what I want to do, okay, I have a, a tarot card, tarot cards. And this, um, this deck here, um, it comes with a little booklet, okay? specifically for these cards. It is a, a standard tarot card, but um, the drawings on it is a little different than this one. This is the more traditional. This book here comes with the deck for this book. Uh, it's, it's more like a, a, a classic of tarot cards and what the cards mean. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to use this deck but I'm going to use this book to to read to you what the cards mean. And again, I'm going, you know, I could also supplement and use this one too, the little booklet that comes with this one. Okay, just to get just to get a, a full body of what's the deal. So I want to do what's called the um, uh, spread the spread of truth. And let me get that out here. It's a, yeah, I'm sorry. It's called the cross of truth this here, and this is what the spread looks like. I'm going to do a cross of truth spread, and I want to find out the people, the two guys, are they, are they telling the truth? I feel really edgy regarding this situation. Again, I wasn't a Michael Jackson fan, but he's a black man, and I felt from, since the early 80s, 1980s, that for whatever reason, the media is just hounding him and, and crucifying him. And I didn't understand that. What should I be asking? It comes to my, sometimes when you put things in your hand, it'll come to you. But yeah, I want this to be filmed. And so I want my hands always present with regard to the cards and everything. It's just a plain old deck. Let me see, what should I really ask? Did Michael Jackson have oral, anal, uh, sex with these boys, um, tongue kiss or French kiss, uh, fondled, 
uh, genitalia, uh, and the like. Was that done to either boys? That's in that documentary. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to ask. Okay, yeah, so let me just give a little prayer right now. Dear universe, dear, dear universe, I thank you for this day. I've been feeling extremely stressed regarding these allegations of post-mortem Michael Jackson regarding allegations that uh, these two now men uh, did a documentary called um, Leaving Neverland, and they said that they were molested and had a sexual encounter with Michael Jackson. I don't want to make anything into these cards. I want the cards and the universe to speak for itself. And I'm just a vehicle of truth. I'm looking for truth. And right now, energetically, my body is responding very negatively regarding those two men who did the movie um, Leaving Netherland. So I pose this question, universe, the spirit of truth. I like to know if Michael Jackson had sexual intercourse, whether oral, anal, uh, touching genitalia of these boys in a sexualized way. Um, yes. Did he do these, um, these things? Please reveal the answer in these cards. Please bring light to the matter. I thank you, universe. I thank you for the spirit of truth behind these cards. Okay. So I hope these, let me um, put this a little further up. So, so I'm gonna break the cards in threes. Oops. Okay. Open up the book. Show how to do the spread. Okay. So the first card is going to be five cards. Okay. The first card is the basis, the base card or the present. This card will show um, the present situation uh, which which I am working with in relationship to the question desires okay desires card that's also ref reflects hopes or fears in a situation Third card is um, what's helpful in this situation as it pertains to the question. The fourth is the op opposing view, the, the opposing um, matter as it pertains to the question. Okay. Well, let me put it down more like that. And then the last card is the outcome card. And that card is going to reveal whether it's. Uh, True or false? Again, this is a five card spread for the cross of truth. So let me begin. I'm going to turn over the cards one by one. And then I'm going to read from this book here what the card means. Okay? Two of coins. See that? Two of coins. And I'm going to read what the two coins mean. Okay. 
from it all and read from this book with the two of coins and in this case the coins is really referring to the pentacles okay okay I'm going to read from this here the two of coins so again you could um, put this video on pause and then read what the information says okay and then you'll be the investigator and interpreter what these cards refer to okay I'm going to read it and you can look at the card while I'm reading two of pentacles or in this case are two of coins okay the coins and pentacles represent the same thing okay the two of pentacles represents the effort needed to successfully maintain a balance in life this can be trying to keep more than one project going simultaneously a balance of home and work or even juggling finances care is needed to maintain balance to ensure everything progresses smoothly and flows harmoniously the signs are good that this can be attained and and I think that's interesting because I've been doing different things and especially with um, going on the internet and juggling between different subjects on YouTube which has really been stressing me out okay so I guess that's what it's referring to okay the second card okay it's the desires card okay and the desires card is let's see um, this shows how you really feel about the situation okay about regarding Michael Jackson this in itself can tell a great deal about your mindset how in tune is this card with the others? Okay. So, the Five of Swords. Okay, let me read what that means. Okay, let me put that down. And look up Five of Swords. Okay, this is the Five of Swords, and again, you could pose or um, pose, pause this video, and read what the information says, and you uh, determine for yourself the interpretation of what this says. Okay, and I'll read what it means, and as I read it, I will show the card. Okay. I hope you can read it clearly. Okay, here I go. The Five of Swords shows that an element of deceit may be at work. Someone is not being honest in their dealings. There may be a hidden agenda or some form of underhandedness. It may represent something that is lost in an unfair manner or perhaps someone leaving suddenly with without any proper explanation or truth showing insensitivity to those concerned as a card that can show that can show dishonor defeat or loss it warns you to be careful it also indicates that selfish victories are short-lived so you must also ensure that you operate in an ethical manner in all your undertakings did you hear that wow oh wow yes that is something else i can't believe i read that <laughs> and again you just put it on pause and you'll you read it yourself what it says okay card number three
Knight of Wands. Okay. I hope you can read this because uh, it seems a little fuzzy. Okay. Okay. I'll hope you can watch that. Let me put it. Yeah, I want everybody to get the what the cards say. Okay. So I'm going to look up what the Knights of Wands. Okay. Again, this card means. Um, this card shows what is working in your favor in relation to your question. That's a, regarding whether Michael Jackson uh, did those those two boys. Okay, so Knights of Wands. Let me look up that. Okay. Knights of one. Okay. So again, for this one here, for the Knights of one, what you do, you just put this on pause and you can read what it says. Okay. And I'll read to you out loud and show the card as I read. Okay, Knights of Wand. If representing a young man, fire element, okay, when representing a young man, the Knights of Wand is energetic, adventurous, full of ambitious ideas, warm and exciting, but apt to be a little hasty. As an event, the Knights of Wands almost always show shows when someone is about to change residence may also signify a long journey being taken sometimes both as an Im as an immigration as always look for supporting cards the energy this night represents tends to make clients feel that they must act quickly as it has a level of creative energy, but they must not, in their haste, forget to check all the details first. Okay. Interesting. So this is to represent a young man. Okay, energy, adventurous, full of ambitious ideas. That that describes that describes Michael. Definitely. It's full of energy, uh, definitely adventurous, ambitious, warm, and a little hasty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's hasty, all right. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, the next card. Okay, the fourth card here, uh, opposition to this one. Okay, so this is the nine of coins. Okay, and the coins and uh, pentacles are the same thing with this deck. Okay, let's look up nine of coins or pentacles in this case. This one here. Okay. So you just put it on pause. The Nine of Pentacles. Read it at your own leisure. And you come to your opinion what this card means. Okay. And in the meanwhile, I'll read it out loud. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles indicates... Financial success and material security usually attained through one's own efforts. Although the, the woman 
in this card is depicted alone. The card symbolizes financial independence, not loneliness. Finances should improve sufficiently to allow some comforts of life of, in life and a pleasant and comfortable lifestyle. With others, with other indication, uh, plural indications, this could represent an inheritance. If you've been bereaving away, working hard and carefully moving in the direction of your goals, then this card now brings the rewards for your efforts. Congratulations. Interesting. So it's interesting how this, why this card is in opposition to this one. That, but uh, it, it's really interesting. So I wonder why that is the case. Why would this? Oh, okay. Well, Michael Jackson's estate, and that could work against him because you have all these people, opportunists, who all of a sudden now want to make claim to it. So this card. So, so I think that's what it's saying. That this card is in opposition because that's what they're after. They're after his assets. And that's why it's in opposition to this one, the Knights of Wand. Okay. Okay. Now the last but not least. Four of Coins. Four of Coins. Okay. Let's read what that means. I'm going to hold it right there so you can see it. Let's see, I'm trying to... Yeah, that's the Four of Coins. Let me just open up the book. This is the outcome. That's the card that we want to really know. Okay, Coins. Four of Coins. Or in this case, Pentacles. I mean, it's the same card. Okay, it's this one here. Four of Pentacles... And again, you just put it on pause and you read at your own leisure and you come to your own conclusion, what it means. Let me read. The Four of Pentacles, in this case coins, can indicate being focused upon goals and financial matters at this time and being prepared to work hard to attain them. However, Having worked hard to achieve some form of financial stability, there may be a fear of loss, and this can lead to feeling the need to hold on to everything a bit too tightly. There is nothing wrong with working hard for one's money or in being careful with one's resources so long as it doesn't become a preoccupation. This card frequently appears when there is an element of being overly cautious or hanging back emotionally and may indicate that you need to let, let go a little in order to move the situation forward, taking a calculated risk. Negatively aspected, it can indicate someone who has a miserly disposition or does not feel inclined to share very interesting so what does this mean well it is saying about caution and and again everything seems to be focused on money and that's what's happening but as of whether he he did it or not, I'm I'm wondering whether did I ask the question correctly. I don't I don't I'm not sure, but you guys out there, you let you 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 can um, come to your own conclusion. Did uh, did he or didn't he? You know, is did he do what was uh, alleged? You be the judge, okay? So I'm going to put this on pause, and then I'm going to do another uh, reading. 
hello again it's a spirit journey and again um, I'm going to proceed with the second tarot reading regarding the New Zealand uh, terrorist attack that happened uh, about a day ago I just learned of the incident yesterday evening and it's not settling well with me this incident and again my condolences for anyone who might have actually died or got hurt is the New Zealand terrorist attack as it is called on the on the media so again is this a hoax or false flag of some type the New Zealand um, terrorist attack that happened a little over a day ago please reveal to us universe please reveal what is the deal I thank you universe and I thank you for revealing truth in the cards okay breaking in threes one oops So, the five card spread I'm going to do called the, the Cross of Truth. Five cards. I'm going space down. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm looking on the monitors to make sure that it's in view. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, do it this way. Okay. One. That's the base card. Desire card number two. Helpful card. Op opposing card. Okay, let me go like this. Okay. And then the outcome card. Okay. So again we, we we post a question regarding this a new zealand terrorist attack is this a hoax or false flag of some type please reveal the high priestess see that the high priestess card let's see what that means the high priestess card this is the basis card um this the, the first card shows your present position, the base from which you are working in relation to your question. Okay. The high priestess card. Okay. This is the high priestess card. And so I invite you all who look at this video that you look at it, that that um you put it on pause. So I want to make sure you get all of it in there. Okay, at the top and there's the bottom. Okay. So you just put it on pause. Okay. And you read it and you come to your own conclusions. In the meanwhile, I will read what it says. Okay. Let's see. The High Priestess. Okay. Interpretation. The High Priestess represents mysteries and secrets and so indicates that there is more depth to some matter than you have seen so far. With the right card, it could show a secret becoming known to you that would be to your benefit. At this time, you need to follow your intuition and trust your instinct. I kid you not. That's what it says. Put that down. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, the second card. Let's turn it over. Nine of Cups. Is that Nine of Cups? Okay. 
and the Nine of Cups. I mean, the uh, that the number two card is the Desire card. Um, let's see, the second card shows how you really feel about the situation. This in itself can tell a great deal about your mindset. How in two is this card with the others, etc. Okay, so the Nine of Cups. Let's read what that card represents. Okay, the Nine of Cups is here. Okay, so you just uh, put your video on pause, <laughs> pause, and read what it says, and you come to your conclusion on the matter. Okay regarding the New Zealand uh, uh, event, the, the terrorist attack, as it's being called, okay? Meanwhile, I hold the card up as I read what it means, okay? Oh, let me just turn on the light here behind me, just in case you can't uh, see it well, yeah. Just to add some more light. Okay, Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is one of the most promising of the tarot and is sometimes referred to as the wish card, signifying the achievement of an important desire that brings you fulfillment. It can represent emotional and material fulfillment, abundance, also sensual pleasures. It indicates you will feel well pleased. Interesting. Okay, as it pertains to this question. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe here it's okay, the wish card. I know I wish to learn the truth, and it is emotional. Okay. The number three card is the helpful card. This card shows what is or will be working in your favor in relationship to your question. This is the two of cups. Okay, I hope you can see that. Boy, it's hard to focus here. But it's the two of cups. So. Let me read what the two cups of cups mean. And that's what's here. Okay, the two of cups. So again, you can put it on pause with the whole content. Okay. So you just look at that, put it on pause, pause. I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to pronounce that word. Yeah, just put it on pause and read what it means. Okay? And in the meanwhile, let me read what it means and I'll hold the card up so you can just gaze at it as I'm giving what this card represents. The energy of the ace has now manifested in reality, finding expression in the form of the Two of Cups. This beautiful card is always a welcome sight with regard to romantic relationships. When the Two of Cups appears, it shows growth in a relationship. Whatever the, the stage you have reached together, it represents moving to the next level. For some, and with the indications of surrounding cards, this can represent commitment, engagement, or marriage. Either way, it is an important union. With the Two of Cups, the relationship is surrounded by an atmosphere of harmony, balance, kindness, and a silent understanding that words cannot express. Such is the delight of this bond that somehow life cannot be imagined without the other. You are deliciously intoxicated and the feeling is mutual. With the wonderful energy of this card, if there 
have been quarrels or disputes between loved ones, then the Two of Cups can bring reconciliation and recovery of the emotions that originally held this unity together. Okay, so in relationship of the question that I gave regarding the New Zealand terrorist attack and what's uh, working on my behalf, as they, as they, as they call this, that what's helpful in the situation as it pertains to the question. Now, I'm not sure what that means because um, it's talk about relationships. What relationship? Or the relationship in my uh, involvement in, in this, um, you know, discovery on this New Zealand attack? I mean, I don't know. That's weird. That's a weird card. And this card here is the opposition card. And that's, wow, justice. See that? A justice card. Okay, I, I would just pause for a moment because the the monitor was uh, flickering. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it gets it. Okay, that's the justice card. And that's the, this is supposed to be like an opposition to that one. So this is working for me. Justice is in um, opposition. Okay, let's find what the what justice cards mean. That's number 11. Okay, justice. This one here. Okay, so again, you can read it at your own leisure, and that's interpretation on the bottom. Read it and come to your own understanding. You put on pause and read the information and be edified by it and come to your own interpretations of the card as it pertains to the question. Okay? In the meanwhile, I will read the info for you and hold the card up. Okay, interpretation. Justice is very much a card of balance. Though more of the rational, logical kind, using the intellectual mind rather than the emotional self, a balanced mind will be required in order to come to a well-balanced decision that is fair and reasonable for all concerned. It can represent the legal ruling upon a matter falling in favor of the rightful side. Legal documents are implied, including marriage agreements. Justice usually has a beneficial outcome unless other cards indicate otherwise. So they're saying, you know, just justice has to do with, you know, I guess not extremes, but something in the middle. Okay. So as if it turns to my question, the event from that happened in New Zealand, you know, it's not cut and dry. It's not just one answer, you know, just one thing. It, it, there's several things that, that are to be considered. That's how I take that. Okay, this is the outcome card. Okay. Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. Okay, so Five of Wands. Let me read what that means. Five of Wands, this one here. So again, you just put it on pause. Let me take it the bottom. Yeah, so you just uh, put it on pause and read it at your own leisure and gather what it means as an outcome card regarding the New Zealand terrorist attack. This is the conclusion whether it's a false flag or something. Okay. In the meanwhile, I'm going to read out loud 
the details what this card represents. The Five of Wands represents conflicts, differences of opinions, and petty squabbling. These may not be large problems and they can be overcome if cooperation is sought. However, petty disorder can easily get out of hand and drain energy away from key issues that need to be resolved. If this situation emerges around you, try not to become involved. For if it is hand handled correctly, the turmoil will just blow over. Don't be tempted to add flames to the fire. If you can play diplomat, you may find yourself quite popular with colleagues at a latter date. If you need receptivity, then now is not the time to present your latest great idea to others, as there is the likelihood of power struggles and competition. Keep it in your drawer for another day when the energy is more condu conducive. Interesting. That's interesting. So what does that mean as an outcome card? Okay, there is definitely conflicts and differences of opinion. But it's saying, you know, it's not the time to present, you know, my latest idea to others. Yeah, there, there, there is power struggles and competition going on. So how do I take that? How do you take this card? It doesn't want me to. Know. It's it's it's. I think it's really saying don't get involved. To, you know to back off. There's something very complicated in this. So this is telling me there's more to the story. What happened? It's not cut and dry, and and to stay out of it. Mhm. Mm yeah. So with all that being said. You, you two come to your own conclusions on the matter. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's more to the story, I think. So those are my tarot card readings. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, uh, you could comment below after it's posted. And uh, give me your thoughts. Only constructive criticism, if need be, you know. No, no, uh, no profanity, but you're welcome to share your opinions and your insight on the matter. Okay? So I thank you again for watching. Take care. And until next time, bye-bye.